What's going on everyone? So Flat Earthers love the Gleason map. They wear it on necklaces, shirts, posters, all that fun stuff. Uh, but let's put it to the test using the September equinox. And when the sun should rise for everybody due east on Earth. They like to use the June solstice as Flat Earth Day. We have every day as Globe Day, but this one in particular, the September equinox. We're going to use five locations. This place that's in French, it's a, like a suburb of Montreal. Sunrise at 644, straight east. New York, New York, 644, straight east. Uh, Bogota, Colombia, 545, because they are an hour difference, even though they are the same longitude, straight east. Kangalo, Peru, 545, straight east. And Ancud, Chile, uh, 745, straight east. This is a time zone thing. They're all relatively close to the same coordinates. I'll show that here. So east to west, they're all within less than a half a degree. So for this, I plugged in New York so we could see the subsolar point of the sun. It is above the Congo, and you can see that nice, almost straight line right across the left edge showing sunrises line. Now on a globe, I did map all these places out. So here they are, there, there, uh, there, there, and there. And if we do it so that they're all facing, there we go, west at the sunrise, the sun will rise over here. So let's put this on a Gleason's map. So here's our sun um, rising east of every one of these locations, and those little lines are where they'll be looking when they're looking east. So somehow the sun is over Congo, um, yet every single one of these five places look directly east, and see the sun. these people see the sunrise from over here. Um, so yeah. It looks like the Flat Earth is destroyed again. The Gleason's map is completely destroyed. It's crazy that uh, nobody has been able to put together a flat map that's accurate. Um, but it looks like we have Globe Earth Day every day, but the equinoxes are hardcore Globe Earth Day because they completely destroy anything about a flat Earth. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk on how flat Earth is extremely easy to debunk. Um, the second you think more than a toddler does. I think toddlers could figure this out actually, but that's beside the point.